Hey folks, it's John with Ozarks Backroads with you again. Today we're out on the mighty FJR. We're on a camping trip down in uh, northwest Arkansas. We're going to take a ride through the Ozark National Forest. Uh, this is a big loop that goes around through the forest. Big area. Probably an hour and a half ride around it, I imagine. We're on a camping adventure this week. We've been in... Uh, Eureka Springs, Arkansas, at my favorite KOA there on uh, Beaver Lake. We've already seen a few things. I went to a cave uh, yesterday. Uh, what is the name of it? It is War Eagle Caverns. They're at War Eagle, Arkansas, or just north of War Eagle, Arkansas. But it was all right. Saw some salamanders and a few things there. Went and did that, and then I checked out a, uh, there at Eureka Springs, there's a, a lake called uh, Weatherford, or uh, Leatherwood, Leatherwood Lake. It's a city park, and it's got a lake on it. It's got a dam that makes up the, that dams up the creek there, and it's a big sucker. It's, it looked to be at least 300 feet long, and it may be longer than that. And it's an old masonry dam built back, quite a ways back, probably turn of the 1900 turn of the century or shortly thereafter what the fuck is going on well that was quite an ordeal i guess they just uh <laughs> took a break there and decided to plug up the road. Well, boy, we're down in the woods here in the Ozark National Forest. I mean, this is uh, some pretty woolly looking places here. Yeah, I got some drone footage off of the Beaver Lake area there where I'm staying at uh, the KOA just up the road. I went and, went and flew on that yesterday and got the drone up. It's kind of pretty well, that's pretty neat I'm gonna go back and see if I can find a place to fly the drone there along that creek that was really nice they got some compacted gravel on this yep this is the mulberry river at least that's what the sign says We got to fly the drone there on the uh, Mulberry River here at this little access. It says Indian Creek Point. Indian Creek Point Access. More bluff here, more creek there. Just Creek and bluff everywhere you look through here. Isn't this neat? Really cool. It says watch for deer. I don't know why you'd want to worry about deer. There surely wouldn't be no deer down here. <clears throat> All this grass on this river bottom. That's pretty neat. Pretty cool. 
<laughs> yeah, the little FJR, it's a pretty good machine for camping. You can put a lot of stuff on one of these and it doesn't, doesn't get real hard to ride. They're kind of made to haul stuff. People mostly, but you can put a lot of stuff on them. Put your dry sack on the back seat with your tent and all your worldly belongings. Load up the panniers and the big top box. Got room to spare. Ooh, 25 mile an hour. 180 degree turn right here, according to that sign. Well, here's a herd. That's the same herd that we passed earlier. It's the same bunch. We're dropping off of the world here. There's the highway, the road we're fixing to do a, a big switch back on. The road's down here. <laughs> I saw it. Yeah, I'd say that's a switch back, wouldn't you? You can get a shot of your own rear license plate on these. Whew. Hello. I heard all about you. Boy, a long way down here. Man, oh man. Oh boy. I guess we're not down yet. It's a pretty spot here. We're down at the bottom of the uh, big old bunch of switchbacks. We came off the mountain. We just hit the bottom down here and uh, got a little creek on the bottom with some big old slabby rock in it that's falling off of the mountain, coming off in flakes. That big herd of motorcycles we passed up on the mountain there, they came by while I was down there messing with my batteries. Man, some of them things are noisy. Really noisy. It's getting cloudier and cloudier and rainier looking. This is just unacceptable. I don't allow rain when I'm out on when I'm out traveling. They're gonna have to reschedule that. Well, we made it out of the forest, the National Forest. Made it back to 23 here. We're just about 20 miles south of uh, Huntsville, Arkansas. Oh, I hope we don't have another person down. What are you doing? Uh, they're drinking. <laughs> drinking beer and stopping out in the road. That guy barely got her turned around. <laughs> this is the best road I've been on all day long. You can actually get, get in high gear and stay there for just a little bit on this road. Not bad at all. Well, we made it back to Eureka. I got myself some dinner here at the local subway. We're going to head out to the base camp, see if it's still there, and see how many bikers have moved in while I've been gone. There's a few in town, and it's Friday night, so the weekend is on. It's liable to be packed at the campground. So we're going through Eureka here on Highway 62. That's the 
23 down to the old uh, the old town part there we're going out west west of town here to the lake We should see the uh, world headquarters right up here on the left. Yeah, it's still there. There it is. So basically, I'm camped out right on the edge of a of the lake road here. So we have a plethora of chains of Harleys coming through here all hours of the night. We've made her back to the uh, mobile uh, command center here at the KOA at Eureka Springs. And we got some new neighbors in a big condominium they put up while I was gone. They got lots of power run over there. So that's good. We got to load up the uh, mobile command post there in the morning, get everything back on the bike and head back to the world headquarters. So. That's going to be a big morning. I think checkout's 11 a.m. here, which is a little early, but uh, we'll get it done. Well, folks, I appreciate you all hanging out with me and checking out a little bit of the Ozark National Forest here in uh, northwest Arkansas on the FJR. I uh, invite you all to come back. We'll go somewhere and do something else. Until I catch up with you again, you all take care of yourselves. We'll catch you next time.